Good day and welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. We have been talking for a little while about the I Ams, the seven messianic sayings of Jesus Christ in the book of St. John. Firstly, we talked about I am who I am in the book of Exodus when Jesus sent Moses down to deliver the people of Israel. He says, I am the all-sufficient one, the one that can supply all your needs. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. I have an abundance of love that can satisfy the human need for a relationship with God. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And he is saying to us that he will guide and direct us out of spiritual darkness. Jesus says, I am the door of the sheep. By me, if any man enter in, the same shall be saved. Jesus is saying here, I am the only way to God the Father. Then he says to us, I am the good shepherd. He is saying the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. He says, I lay down my life as an entrance fee for you into the kingdom where you can come and go and you have unlimited access. He's saying to us today, I am the resurrection and the life. Story taken from St. John 11 verse 1 through 53 where Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. So in St. John 11 verse 25 and 26, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth shall never live die so this is the last public miracle in the ministry of jesus while he was here on earth yet it is the greatest miracle of them all we see in the story where jesus loved this family mary martha and her brother lazarus one day Lazarus felt sick and his sister sent message to Jesus saying, the one whom you love is sick. They didn't suggest what action Jesus should take. But they were of great faith and confidence in their savior and friend that whatever Jesus did would be the best for their family at this time jesus was only several miles away but did not hurry to bethany but announced to the messenger and his disciples that this sickness would not result in final death but this was to bring glory to god by glorification through his son so god would be glorified through his son jesus christ from the story we realize that by this time lazarus had passed away lazarus died for two more days these jesus did not go to bethany we wonder why, even as the sisters do, but this was according to the divine purpose and timetable of our Lord Jesus Christ because he did nothing without his father's approval. The disciples thought Jesus did not want to go because his life was threatened. So they were discouraging Jesus for their own personal life. They were afraid. They were not concerned too much about the death of Lazarus. They didn't even comprehend what Jesus was trying to say. So yes, there was a delay. 
but we can see God's delays are not God's denial. Jesus was walking in perfect obedience to the will of God. St. John eleven thirteen, Jesus was now telling them, listen, Lazarus is dead. But they thought he was sleeping naturally. Jesus said unto them, but for your sake, I am glad that I was not with him so that you will believe. Now let us go to him. So Thomas was worried and he spoke up for the rest of the disciples for fear. However, the disciples said, let's go with him. We will rather die with him than most likely live without him. But there was really no real danger to the life of Jesus at this time. Because his appointed time had not yet come. His work was not yet done. Lazarus was now dead and he was buried for four days. But Jesus says in his own heart, I have an intention to raise him up. Because Jesus must be shown as the resurrection and the life. So Jesus declared in St. John eleven twenty five and 26. Jesus said to her, which is Martha, Lazarus' sister, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will live even though they die. Jesus told them plainly, listen, for your sakes, I will raise him up. Death cannot prevent me. I have the power to raise the dead. So Jesus went. When Jesus went, there was mourning. There was sadness at the house of Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. And we will see how the presence, the promise, and the person of Jesus brought comfort to these people. So we see today comfort in his presence. The absence of Jesus from Mary and Martha's home during this time of their bereavement, no one could understand. Martha said to Jesus in St. John 11 and 21, Jesus, if you had been here, Lord, my brother would not have died. So they knew if Jesus was on the scene, Jesus would have done something. The presence of Jesus was sufficient to calm the hearts of Martha and Mary. And also the grieving ones that were present. It was his physical presence that he showed his deep love, his compassion, his sympathy, and he grieved over their suffering. The Bible said Jesus wept. He was deeply moved in his spirit. This was a reflection of both his humanity and his divinity. So we can take comfort even when we suffer in any way. Remember, Jesus is touched 
by the feelings of all our infirmities. When we face the realities of death, even today, we are assured of the fact that we can find comfort in the presence of the Lord. That day, the house of great mourning became a house of great joy. If you are mourning today, the presence of the Lord will make a great difference in your life. It did at the house of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. We will continue this story tomorrow. God bless you and thank you again for watching.